the city of Munich gets ready for the 1972 Olympic Games. A new television mast rises high above the partly completed canopies spanning the three main sports arenas. Preparations for the Games take many forms. Most new building is almost complete. But the commercial aspect is never far away. German manufacturers haven't been slow to cash in on the Olympic scene. Apart from the purely commercial side, the city of Munich has already spent about 240 million pounds. This expensive form of one-upmanship appears essential to the ideal Olympic background. And presumably the souvenir makers want us to think that items like Olympic cufflinks and ties are equally essential. But it doesn't stop at that. Already, the facilities of the new Olympic city look as though they'll be second to none. With the Germans' Teutonic thoroughness and organization, it's not surprising. But all this souvenir hunting's pretty tiring, you know. Also keeping an eye on the Olympic scene is Australia's super swimmer Shane Gould, third from our camera. Though she's only 15 years old, Shane is world record holder for the 100 metres, jointly with Dawn Fraser's long-standing time of 58.9. Still an unassuming schoolgirl, Shane seems certain to set new records, especially in view of her remarkable 1500 metre swim when she beat the previous record by 18.6 seconds. Here she's taking the only world freestyle record left for her to win. Even her coach, Forbes Carlyle, was surprised. And the following morning, Shane can't wait to get back into the swim, back into training. Already, this youngster has shown the potential to make a clean sweep of every freestyle event in the Olympics. In London, the annual British Footwear Manufacturers Fashion Show